Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the ins and outs of graphic design as it pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today for T-Shirt Tuesday, I'm showing you guys another glitch effect. Now, what's different from this glitch that's different from the other glitch is that this glitch is actually a smart object glitch. So you guys can actually drop in your images after I make this, and that's pretty cool. Now, if you guys want to work alongside with me and actually make this for yourself, then you can. I have those instructions ready for you. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys download this one for free, separate from my Patreon account. Now, if you guys actually want the graphics that I'm using for this, you can get those vector graphics for five bucks a month. However, this glitch effect you can guys get for free, there will be a link in the description box below. So if you guys are excited about this, go ahead and like and subscribe. I do this all the time. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and make magic. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, and basically we just want to go ahead and pretty much create our 14 by 17 document. So now that we have that up, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump black in here. And now that this is black, I just wanna go ahead and turn this into a smart object. So convert to smart object. You can just go down here, right click this, or you can hold down control and then click and it'll give you that option to turn into a smart object. So what we wanna do is just go ahead and double click on this, hit okay, and it's just gonna open up their smart object as a PSB. So in this PSB, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off layer one, and I wanna go ahead and put a graphic that I've already created into this. So I'm gonna go into my folder and then bring out a graphic, probably for my graphic pack. So now that I have my graphic in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit command S, and that's just gonna save it out. Now I'm gonna go back to my original canvas, and it should be standing right here. So this is where I'm at right now. I just wanna go ahead and duplicate this one and then turn off the top one. Now on the bottom one, I just wanna go to filter, distort, and then wave. So the first thing we want to do is we want to kind of fix up these number generators. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix out this number generator need to be one. The wavelength minimal needs to be one while the max is 570. The amplitude needs to be one while the max is 30. And we want to turn the vert to one. So the vertical needs to be one, but we'll keep this as 300. Now as the type, you want to make this a square and we want to make sure that the undefined areas is still a repeat edge and pixel. So once we got that, we just want to go ahead and hit OK, and that gives us this. Now on this same layer, we want to make another wave. So we're going to go back into Filter, we're going to go down to Distort, we're going to bring up Wave. This time we want to make sure that the minimum for the wavelength is 2, while the max is 300. Then we want to make sure that the minimum for the amplitude is 2, while the max is 300. Then we want to shoot the scale to 30 for the horizontal, and then we're going to hit OK. Then we just want to do one more wave on this, so we're going to go back to Filter, Distort, Wave, and we want to enter in these values. We want to enter the first one in as 463 and the second one is 545. We want the amplitude minimum to be 232 and the minimum 352. Then we want to set the scale to five and leave that vertical as one and then hit okay. Now at this point, I just want to go ahead and add a black and white just because I like to add this black and white. So just in case you guys have a color, you're just going to put it in black and white and that'll be all right. And at this point, you can also enter in some texture. So I'm going to bring in a texture real quick. So now that I have my texture, I'm just going to go ahead and put that on a lighten. And then I'm going to drop the fill down to like 30. Now I just want to copy layer one one more time. And I'm going to turn on this top one. And I'm going to put this into a group. So I'm going to hit Command G. And that's going to be in a group real quick. We want to name this group Glitch. And this is going to serve as my first color glitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into layer one copy. I'm going to filter. I want to go into filter gallery and then we want to go down to sketch and then we want to go down to the halftone pattern so with this what i can do is i'm going to go ahead and turn off the watercolor because i'll need that i want to turn the contrast down to zero and then i want to turn this pattern type into a line that's all we needed to do with that now what we need to do is just duplicate that one but we're going to take the bottom one and turn that into a darken and then while we're at it we're just going to go ahead and turn the glitch into a lighten but on this first top one we're going to go into filter we're going to go down to distort and then we're going to wave and we want to enter in these values. So wavelength needs to be one while the max has to be 999. The amplitude minimum needs to be 333 and the max of that should be 820. And then the horizontal scale should be 25 while the vertical can stay one. And I'm going to hit OK. But then we want to go ahead and double click on this top layer and we want to change the color of this to maybe a gold. And I just want to kind of take this one and just kind of move it over to the right slightly. So now that we have that, what we want to do is just go ahead and duplicate the glitch layer. We'll rename this one glitch two, and we want to open this one back up. We're going to go ahead and change this one to a red. And then we want to go ahead and slide this one back over here like 
this. But what we really wanna do is go ahead and double click on this wave effect and then change the values of this. So the first one is gonna be 156 and the minimum is gonna be 630. The amplitude is gonna be 47 and the max is gonna be 270. And the scale this time for the horizontal is gonna be one, but the vertical is gonna be 17 and we wanna hit okay. And that gives you something a little bit like this. So let's just say you didn't like the color. We can just go ahead and change the color for the second one. We can make this one maybe like a blue or a green. And as you see, when we change the color, it gives you kind of that little split color right here. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And I'm gonna hit okay again. However, what I wanna do right now is just open up another adjustment layer. And I wanna go for color lookup. And I wanna bring down this 3D LUT. And I wanna choose a different color. So we can do a horror blue since this is kind of like a Halloween thing and we can leave that alone. As a matter of fact, we don't even need to use all of that. We can just drop down the field to like maybe 40. And then we can bring this glitch up again, this grunge texture, and we can just go ahead and clip this here like that. And that's pretty much it. So what I wanna do now is just go ahead and put all of this into one group, and I'm gonna name this the glitch effect, and I'm gonna leave that alone. Now, this layer that I left above here, we can go ahead and turn this one back on, and that pretty much gives you kind of like a solid basis ground right there. That's if you guys want that. What I want to do is just go ahead and command J that to make a duplicate. And I'm going to turn that off. Now here what I want to do is just go ahead and type in double click for image. So when you guys go to double click on this, just inside of this little box right here, it's going to bring you into the layer one PSB. And with that, I can just go ahead and drop the fill layer down and the opacity down. And then I can change that out. Now, if you guys want to keep that kind of like image inside, you can go ahead and turn that back on. But whenever we go to double click this image right here, we can go ahead and change this image out. So I'm just going to bring in a different image real quick. So let's just imagine that the football helmet that I made from the last vector pack is the one that I'm working with. We can just go ahead and hit command S to save this out. And then when we go back to the original image, we get a little something a little bit like this, which is completely awesome. And with that final tweak, you guys, that is it. So I hope you guys like this one. I hope you guys learned a lot. And I hope you guys actually pick up this glitch effect. It was an oldie yet goodie for me. I actually learned this one from somebody a long time ago on YouTube. And I've just been using it ever since. I just haven't been able to put this into like a video. And now that I have it out the way that I want to, I want to share it with you guys, you know? So this was something right in time for Halloween because you guys can actually drop in your scary graphics or whatnot and make it even more scary with the glitch effect. Now, you guys don't have to use the colors that I use. You guys can actually go in and tweak it however you want to. If you guys want to turn off those textures, you actually can. That's something totally up for you guys to do. But with that being said, you guys, the skies is pretty much the limit with this one. You guys can go ahead and make your graphic and then put that on an actual t-shirt and then put some text around it. So hopefully you guys learned something. If you did, go ahead and give me a like, a thumbs up. If you guys got some value out of this one, go ahead and smash the likes and thumbs up button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. And if there's another kind of smart object tutorial that you want me to do, something that I can give away for free, let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.